First at four, we're learning more about a missionary pilot who grew up in northern Tehama County who disappeared near the Philippines a week ago. Action News Now reporter Taylor Helms has more on the search for Daniel Louie and how he got into this line of work overseas. Daniel Louie, along with four other passengers, disappeared on February 28th while transporting a patient near Balavac in the southwest region of the Philippines. We've been searching areas, you know, if, if they were able to get out of the helicopter, if something happened and they had to ditch in the water and were able to get out areas, you know, that the current might take them. Multiple countries have joined the search for the missing helicopter and crew. So the Philippines uh, have been in full support from the beginning. They sent out all the Air Force, uh, Coast Guard, Navy um, that they could to, to search as well as all the missionary pilots in the area. Rebecca and Daniel's parents left their home in Shingletown on Friday to join Daniel's wife in the Philippines. Rebecca says a specialized sonar team also arrived on Monday to help in the search. The U.S. Embassy's thermal plane has covered more than 8,000 square miles, about the size of Shasta, Tehama, and Glen counties combined. Everybody hopes that, you know, he'll be found alive, but we do know that, you know, if he did die, that he did it living his best life. He followed all his dreams and he did everything that, you know, he wanted to do and was passionate about, and, and he you know, really wanted to share God's love with others. And I believe he did that through his service to others. Rebecca says the only thing search crews have found so far is the nurse's shoes near the island where they picked up the patient. I'm Taylor Helms reporting for Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Daniel had moved to the Philippines eight years ago. He met his wife there and they got married in October of 2020 in Manton in northern Tehama County, where he grew up. We'll continue to update you on the search for Daniel as we learn more information from Daniel's family, as well as the four other passengers on that missing helicopter.